1272 here, bringing you guys yet again another video today, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a Orlando International Airport update, and this was requested by O'Hare Aviation. So everybody, please go down and subscribe to him. His name will be in the description if he is. Do you forget it? And hopefully his link. I always say I look at their link, but then I always forget, and then I remember the next day. But oh well. Um, anyway, I forgot to notice, or not no, not notice. I forgot to note in yesterday's video that we did make it through the whole video without having to uh, stop the camera. I think you guys probably knew that, but that's pretty good news, honestly, because that means that we can, that means that my battery's fixed and that we can just go the whole update without having to stop and pause it at all. I'm just so happy that it's fixed. And guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, please do remember to hit that like button. And if you are at, if you are at all new to my channel, please do remember to hit, to hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> and if you want to see any modern reviews or airport updates, comment them down below and I will do them and you'll get your shout out. Please note that I am <clears throat> pretty backed up, so it may take me a bit to get them out, but they will eventually get out, especially since I'm doing daily videos now. So yeah, um, I, ha I have been to Orlando uh, once. I've been to the airport once and that was in, uh, the sp uh, I guess it was late spring of 2013. I don't remember much. I do remember that we flew Southwest. Um, <clears throat> But I do remember, and I remember that it's a very nice and wide open airport. So yeah, um, this is probably my second favorite airport to fly into behind Omaha, obviously. So uh, yeah, enough talking, let's get into it. All right, so here we have a Delta Airlines 737-800. This guy will be just ready to pull into runway 27 for a departure to Cincinnati. Here we have a Delta Connection Embraer ERJS 170. He's gonna be heading out to Indianapolis. Here we have a Delta Connection CRJ-700. This guy will be heading out to Raleigh Durham. Raleigh, Raleigh Durham. How are you saying that type of name now? Uh, here we have a Alaska 737-700. This is in the old library. He is just blasting off for San Diego. Here we have a United A320 in the Star Alliance library. This guy's taxing over to the United part of the Terminal 1. And he just came in from Chicago O'Hare. <coughs> Starting off Terminal 1, we have in Alaska, 737-800, a with split scimitars. This guy will be heading out to Portland. Here we have an Alaska Airlines 737-800, with also with split scimitars. He's going to be heading out to Seattle, Tacoma. Here we have a Delta Airlines 7, excuse me, A321. This guy is getting fueled up for his flight to JFK. Here we have a Delta Airlines MD90. This guy is getting luggage on board for his flight to ATL. Here we have a Delta Connection CRJ-200. This guy just pulled into the gate after coming in from Salt Lake City, um, excuse me, St. Louis, and that is a seasonal service route. So here we have a Delta A330-200. This guy is getting cargo on board, and he's going to be making his way out to Sao Paulo. Then here we have a United A319. This guy just pulled into the gate after coming in from Cleveland Hopkins. I'm going to head over to the other side of the airport to finish the rest of this mat, I guess you call it. Alright, uh, we're gonna do these first. Here we have a Delta 737-900 in the CE Wallman Library. He, uh, is third in line for departure for his flight out to MSP. Here we have a Delta Airlines 767-300. This guy is second in line for departure, and he'll be making his way out to Seattle, Tacoma International Airport. And here we have a Southwest Airlines 737 Dash 700 in the Triple Clown, Triple Crown, not Triple Clown, Triple Crown library, and he's going to be making his way out to New Orleans. Here we have a United Airlines 767-300. This guy's getting luggage on board, and the luggage should be a bit to the left. That's too far right, but oh well. And this guy will be heading out to SFO. Here we have a United Airlines 737-800. Just begin the deboarding process after coming in from, um... Did I miss this one? Yeah, I did. Um, after coming in, we just say that he came in from Chicago O'Hare. Here we have a United A320 in the Stars and Bars Retro Library. Retro Library. This guy is just ready to be pushing back for his flight to Denver. Then just pushed out of this gate right here is a United 737-300, the Flying Pencil. And this guy will be heading out to Columbia. <clears throat> Here we have a Delta Airlines. Uh, 717, this guy just pulled off runway 09 after coming in from Miami. And I'll do the cargo area. So you're right here. Here we have a UPS 767-300F. Uh, this guy is just ready to get 
no, excuse me, he just pulled into the gate and has not began uh, the unloading process, and he just came in from Columbia Valley. Yes, Columbia. The 753 is going to LAX. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, here we have a FedEx MD 10 30. This guy just pulled into the gate from. Um, no, excuse me, he's just about to push back, and he'll be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Here we have a JetBlue A320 in the uh, Vets in Blue Library. This guy will be making his way out to. I lost my spot. Uh, Mexico City. And as normal, we have the very sad uh, Alaska 737-900. I'm still mad about that. Because that was a great aircraft. Ah, I guess we can hit this one right here. Here we have an American A319. This guy's taxing to Remini 09. And he'll be making his way out to uh, CLT. I gotta walk all the way around the airport. But I'm still glad that I added that new addition. So, you know, I do have to walk on the high boards. Alright. Here we have an American 777-300. Uh, ER, this guy's getting cargo on board, and he'll be making his way out to JFK with continuing service to London Heathrow. Here we have a American Airlines E-190. Uh, this guy is taxiing over to Romeo 09 for a departure to DFW. Here we have an American Airlines 737-800 in the TWA Retro Library. This guy will be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Here we have another American 737-800. This guy is just in, in the normal library, and he just came in from Miami. Here we have an American Airlines A319. This guy's just pushing back and he'll be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Here we have a American Airlines 767-300. This guy's getting fueled up for his flight to Los Angeles. Now moving over to the international side. Basically, what I did with Terminal B, or Terminal 2, whatever I said, I, I honestly keep forgetting. Uh, here we have the American section over here, and then we have internationals over there so that's how i did it with that and then over here has the hub airlines and terminal three or c or whatever i used i kind of just figure out one to use <laughs> here we have a Volaris a321 uh this guy is just ready to push back for his flight to mexico city here we have an, a, a emirates 777-200 lr this guy's getting catered for his flight to dubai we have a lufthansa a340-300 this guy's getting catered for frankfurt that's actually on an a380 i believe here we have a westjet 737-800 this guy will be heading out to Halifax. And here we have a Frontier A320 in Griswold Bear. This guy's taxing to runway 09 for a departure to Colorado Springs. All right, now we start off with the uh, Frontier, Southwest, and JetBlue part of the airport. Terminal 3 or Terminal C. Here we have a JetBlue A321 and the Prism's tail. This guy will be heading out to Newark. We have a Silver Soft 340 b This guy's just getting Passengers on board for a flight down to Key West. Now we gotta move this out of the way. Then we start off with Terminal 3 or Terminal C. Oh my gosh, I just gotta call like either Terminal 3 or Terminal C, or just, I just gotta use either letters or numbers. I don't know why I keep mixing them up. Okay, here we have Frontier A321, and this is in Auto the Owl. This guy will be heading out to Las Vegas. Here we have a Frontier Airlines A321 in Courtney the Cougar. This guy is using the air stairs to board. And okay, so I. Uh, what's happening w with the terminal right now is basically this part of the terminal is finished. That's why that there's a jetway there. These uh, these three buildings are not finished yet. That's why there's buses there because they're still doing construction on the inside. So yeah, um, where were we at? We were right here. We have a JetBlue A320 in the Boston Red Sox tail. This guy's just pushed back for um, New York La LaGuardia. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Nevada Battle of Warren Library. This guy's using the air share to board first flight to Philadelphia. Here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-800 uh, with split scale guitars. This guy's using the air shares to board and he'll be heading out to Omaha, Nebraska, or my home airport. Unfortunately, that is seasonal service, but two year, or four years ago, gee, that was a long time ago, uh, we had to go through Midway because this didn't this route did not even exist. So <laughs> Can't believe that. That was four years ago already. Here we have a Southwest 737-300 uh, in the Arizona 1 library. Uh, this guy will be heading out to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And for the last plane for the airport update, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700. This is in the New Mexico 1 library. And this guy will be heading out to Rochester, New York. So guys, that is it for this airport update. Hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. Uh, if you did, always do more to hit, to hit that like button and always hit Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at GeminiJets1272. And yeah, guys, I just 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. Do, do remember to um, uh, post your uh, comments down below with what airport or what model review you'd like me to do. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video.